what's going on guys it's Gary and to bring you guys a video on how to create your very own vintage looking logo so basically what I did right here is I just mocked up a quick little uh, example and uh, it's actually really easy to do and doesn't really take that many layers and uh, pretty much let's get right into it so uh, to start this off you're going to need a few things you're going to need a font called crinks which I'll leave a link in the description on you can always go on to font.com and just type it in and uh, then you need a crumbled piece of paper PNG and I'll leave this in the description as well and uh, pretty much that's all you need so uh, let's get right into it let me just uh, gather my thoughts so uh, basically what this is is a circle my text and then this other stuff and then it's basically all it is so uh, pretty much I'm gonna delete this and then just start off with writing my name and then I put a capital G and then I leave everything else lowercase and just make it a little bit bigger like this size Maybe a little bit smaller. All right, and then go and right click on it. Go to blending options and put a stroke on it, black of course, and then put it on the outside for like two, and then just take the fill down and put it all the way to zero. So uh, now that you have that, you can go back to your stroke, and I think I'm gonna put this down at one actually. Not too good. So after that, after you do that, just duplicate the layer and then take your your bottom low, <clears throat> bottom row, and just pretty much go like this. Hold down your bottom arrow key and then hold it to your right. And uh, pretty much this is wherever you want to stop. You can just pretty much stop, and then just go and highlight the bottom one. Actually, you can just right click and go to the fill. Just fill it back in. So uh, you have this. So uh, now you have that. You can just put this back to 100%, and then make sure that the top one is white so you see that little like drop down so what I want to do is just pretty much connect them so you make a new layer behind all of it and just connect uh, everything with the corners so if you see this you're gonna connect it with the opposite color and then let's just say uh, just make this black pretty much connect this with that one just guesstimate. Oops. All right, and then you can pretty much just go through, fill in the necessary stuff. You know that's black, and then do it again. So, just fill this in. Make it black. Should be black too. And you're pretty much gonna do this for the whole thing. So you see, now that I get here, you're just gonna connect the top with like the, the top and then just pretty much keep filling this in and uh yeah it's not it's not really too uh too too much fun to do but the outcome is definitely worth it so you see these letters these letters connect if they connect you just go through them all like this because they're all going to lead somewhere to the same spot and then You can do like this. Like you see how I just connected like the bottoms and then I put <sighs> just taking this good old time. I mean, hopefully that connects somewhere close. Alright, and then you can just fill this in and you see it fills in everything. And then you just gotta connect these, so that's gonna connect somewhere around here. <coughs> oh my I've sneezed in two tutorials in a row. And then you can just take the circle. And pretty much just connect these, and uh, you guys are getting an idea. I'm not really going to talk over this, but I am going to talk about Tutorial Hub right now. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to Tutorial Hub, please go check it out. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on the screen. And uh, this is going to be really hyped. Uh, it's really going to be a nice channel. Me and a lot of my friends are working on it together, and it's definitely going to be worth it. So uh, definitely go check it out if you're like looking into getting into editing, uh, designing, pretty much anything that uh, has to do with like graphic design or visual effects and we're pretty much going to be uploading it. If you guys have any like suggestions for it, we always take requests through email, so uh, let's go check it out and uh, make sure to get on that list of being active. So uh, now that you have that pretty much done, it's going to look like something like this, maybe a little different than mine, and uh, it's not really too, uh, too in-depth. So I keep coughing. I just drank a orange and cream soda. It was very dank. But uh, after that, what I'm going to do is just rasterize these layers. 
itch your eye and then go to the ellipse tool and this is what you're gonna do is just make a black circle like this but you're not gonna make it the whole entire name you're gonna make it like somewhat like this so it just leaves like a middle spot and then put it behind and you guys can just recenter it so after that what you do is just right click on the text go to blending options and then hop over to your stroke and put a white stroke on the outside on pretty much whatever size you want whatever looks nice I'm gonna say like a four or five maybe five I don't know maybe four and then you're gonna take your ellipse tool duplicate it grab the bottom actually grab the top one put the fill to zero go to blending options go to stroke and put a stroke black on the outside of let's just say four for now and then hit control T and make it a little bigger maybe a little smaller actually so you'll see how it makes it like a little ring around it like that so you have that all right and uh, now that you have that you can pretty much start to add other stuff so let's just say you want to add uh, a logo up there I'm just gonna use some custom shapes so I uh, just make a new layer and you're gonna add your let's say logo right there and make the color white just say you throw up a paw right there and then uh you can put like 2014 or 15 sorry um oh, that doesn't work that fine uh just type in a word uh just say you write down the word tutorial pretty much just make it smaller and place it right here so uh, you have your little logo and your tutorial and everything's looking pretty decent so uh, now that you have that you can start working on the background and I'm gonna center that check the time only six minutes so actually this is gonna take not take long at all so uh, now you have that what you gonna do is just make a new layer in the bottom behind everything and then take another rectangle and just take it from like the top of the biggest letter and the bottom of the biggest letter make it like a couple pixels off or a couple centimeters however you want to like explain it explain it and then grab the bottom ellipse go to blending options and then put a white stroke on the outside of that so it's like this all right and then you can duplicate that put this fill down to zero on the ellipse hit control T and there you go like that so uh, now you have that you can pretty much actually I'm gonna make it a little smaller do, do, do. there you go now you have that and then what you can do is go to your another layer in the bottom actually put it above the rectangle and just say you take a white rectangle and you can put one right there and then duplicate and put one right here and uh, I'm gonna take this little ellipse away so it has like this little cool thing <clears throat> sorry put that down a little bit actually create that effect and uh, pretty much this is when you guys can add your other stuff you guys can put words here you guys can put words there uh, I can change obviously this and stuff but uh, this is pretty much the basic rundown so uh, now you want to do is add a color to it so coloring you're gonna go to your crumbled pieces of paper and just hit control C and control V onto it and then zoom out a lot after that, you're going to go all the way to the top with that layer. So make sure it's the first layer. And just pretty much make it the size so it leaves some crumbles, but also leaves that cool vintage looking effect. So now you have that, you can just pretty much paste it on and then take the opacity and lower it. So now that you zoom in, it creates an old vintage look. Why is that there? Kind of looks actually kind of cool. Unless I'm just like hallucinating on that. Oh yeah, I didn't put the opacity down all the way. Oops. But um, now that you have that, you can pretty much just mess around with the opacity of this. You guys can put it on different settings like overlay. Put it on screen. Put it on screen. You got to put the... Oops. Put it on screen. You got to mess with the opacity again because everything changes. So let's just say you leave it like this. Alright, so you have that. Put this back to normal. What else did I do? Yeah, that's what I didn't do. <clears throat> so you pretty much have that. And then uh, you can pretty much go from here. You guys can add your own effects. You guys obviously own, add your own uh, logo, add your own text, add your own name. And uh, you can pretty much mess around with this. Uh, fonts that are really good to use on this is actually uh, cursive fonts and uh, bold fonts. Like Varsity is a good font. Uh, Compass is a good font. Anything that's more of a retro look is uh, really well for this. So uh, 
this is basically I'm trying to upload every single day for you guys and I'm on my I'm on a lot in a row I think I'm on my fifth in a row let me check might be my sixth five six two one two four five five this is this is gonna be my sixth yep this is gonna be my sixth upload in a row so uh that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe on this and if you guys want a certain tutorial or more tutorials or something else please let me know in the comments below there's really nothing i guys i can release for you guys but uh i pretty much will release the psd for this for you guys at uh let's just say 50 likes so uh I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Tutorial Hub. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Also, I do respond to your messages on Twitter and your like your mentions and stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you guys need to contact me, Twitter, Skype, YouTube. I look at my comments all the time. I'm in school just chilling on YouTube sometimes. And uh, that's about it. But uh, it's really easy to do if you guys have any more tutorial suggestions. If you guys like these everyday uploads, please let me know because it's going to be uh, pretty much of a pain to do. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and that's it. Peace out.